straight mile. It's not straight. It's a very straight mile. It's a very straight mile. It's a better thing. Yeah, do you know? It's a straight mile. You read it on the back of the old, just straight mile at the corner. It's fucking, it's as much as straight as some fellas that are walking the road. Well, Richard Pugh, I hope it's straightforward for you. The Irish Guineas is all yours. That's it. We are almost set to go for the 2022 running of the Tarasos Irish 2000 Guineas. The 14 runners are set. And they're racing. Tennessee's Irish Guineas is underway. And Garth got away smartly right there too. Purple Pay was one of the first to show. Tuesday has also got away probably not so freedom of speech. He has to slot in behind them. So Garth is right up on the front end. So too is Villanova Queen. Tuesday just slots in behind them. So too does History. Right behind them is Concert Hall. And they're being chased by Star Girls Al Mal, who's close behind the pace as they make their way to the first couple of furlongs. And Garth leads from Tuesday, History, Villanova Queen, Concert Hall, and Star Girls Al Mal, Panama Ray. He's on Selma's next, and they're being chased by Purple Pay, Homeless Souls in the red cap on the outside. Of freedom of speech, then comes another by Lady of Inish Free. And the back marker is her man Australia as they pass the five. And over the far side, it's a Garth and Declan McDonough. Near side is Tuesday and Ryan Moore. They're the leading pair. Right in behind them is History and Company with Villanova Queen, the leading quartet. Next up behind these, Nissan Son, who in turn is in company with Concert Hall. Then comes Starkers, Al Mal, Purple Pay, and Panama Red. And then Homeless Souls who travel smoothly. Lady of Inish Free is just on her tail. The back three, none of and one has a shot is trying to move forward. Freedom of speech is written. They make the way now inside the three. And out in front, the guard that would choose to strongly challenging over on the near side. Trying to pick up homeless sons is getting this far very smoothly. Has to pick up a little further to bridge the gap. Tuesday takes to the front from a guard. The homeless sons is swooping now on the near side. Star goes Alman has been taken along with her in these four to four career draw clear. And now it's homeless sons who's absolutely swept through from Tuesday. A guard that star goes Alman. And it's homeless sons who's gone clear in the guinea. She's three, four, five lengths. And in this closing stages, it's going to be another tennis of cars and guineas for a double win. Homeless Songs has won, and now Homeless Songs is clear in the guineas from Tuesday. Then Concert Hall, then Purple Pay in front of Star Girls Al Mal, and behind these are Garth and Villanova Queen, Panama Red, Lady of Inish Free, Freedom of Switch. Then are Man Australia History and Mizan Son in front of Lullaby. Dermot Well has picked up his fifth Irish guineas with Homeless Songs in the Moidler colours. Chris Hayes aboard. Absolutely destroyed them. This is a real one. This was a classic, Richard, and that is a class act. Homeless songs. Wow, a demolition performance. You mentioned Dermot Wells' role of honour. No more important winner would have been trusted partner back in 1998 in these very colours. Moigler stood, have a star, Ted Walsh. Homeless songs. Wow. Well, we've seen some great cities here Ridgewood, Pearl, Attraction, Imagine, Marling, and Alpha Centurion. This one will go down the record books as a great one as well, too. She was very impressive, Fran. Wow, that's all I can say, Ted. Yeah. I, she's such a great Chris Hayes. She didn't get a long cover, but she just dropped her head, Ted, and the way she took into the race was very, very taking. And uh, I say she ended up in front sooner than Chrissy would have liked, because, but the further she went when she was let go. But look at the way she moves into race here, Jane. Oh, just yeah. She's so comfortable at a high tempo. Every other horse coming off the bridle, and she is yet to be asked for effort here with less than a furlong, two furlongs to run. Chris asks her to extend, and she puts daylight in. Daylight is right, and look at the gap that appears. I mean, the others have run well behind. The filly ran well in the guinea. She's run a cracker here again. But this filly has just gone away and away and away. A gap there. That's what you'd like to see. That's the sort of a real performance of a high class filly. Wonderful for DK and great for Chris Hayes. Back as number one jockey. He's down there with Casey at the moment. Man, Chris. Yes, number one jockey is Chris Hayes. That was just unbelievable. She's uh, an amazing filly. I rode her last year. Jackie, do you want to just take a turn? Over here, Jackie. Um, Come on. I rode her last year. Rushing was out injured before the kill of Ullen, a bit of work. I thought she was as good a two-year-old as I'd ridden last year. I thought she'd win the kill of Ullen. Uh, maybe she was just a little bit weak. So I'd like to get the call to ride her this year, and I'm very, very grateful to, to Mr. Wells, Ava, Maliki, Fiona, and all the team at Roswell. They, they do a fantastic job. Which our horses aren't really hitting the boards at the minute, but we're getting there, and hopefully this is the turning point. Oh, turning point it is, but she was unbelievable, Chris. Like, you were kind of back in mid days, but not much cover, but she just seems so straightforward. Uh, where we were drawn, it's probably the best of the ground. And when the draw came out the other day, I was nearly leaping up and down inside in Roswell. Uh, I just thought with the forecast, it can get a little bit congested down below. She's an extraordinary turn of foot. 
And the last thing I wanted to do was be looking for gaps. Yeah. She likes a little bit of room, let her have it, and you saw what she can do. Um, there was talk maybe a bench she'd be better. This, that. My only concern coming in today was that I get a clean run of things to draw. Staying a mile ground made no difference. She's a special filly. Well, she sure is, Chris, and you gave her an absolute peach. Congratulations. Thank you. An Irish filly, so we missed me. Uh, stop a drink. Yeah, it was nice to get the Colts one. Now we have the Phillies one. Any day you ride a classic winner is a good day. A special day. Well done, Chris. Well deserved. Cheers. Yeah, a 27th European Classic for the Master of Rosewell. Many congratulations, Darrell Well. What a performance! It was an excellent performance by her. Lovely ride from Chris Hayes. He must take great credit. She's absolutely, she put the race to bed in, in literally three strides. She did. She did the same in Leperstown when she won her group race. And it was only a question, as I said to you beforehand, if she could carry that speed over a mile. But uh, she did it impressively today. Privately, though, even we saw her winning at Leprechaun on Champions Weekend, you could detect that you oh, saw so, a brilliance from day one with this filly. Yeah, she's always shown br brilliance. She's not the easiest to keep right, but when you have her right, she's very good. Beautifully bred, a daughter of Frank. Like yes. the, the star's the limit, isn't it? The sky's the limit for this filly. Yeah, it is. She's a, she's a really nice filly, and I well remember Pat winning at stakes level, Pat Smullen on her dam. And I just saw him today as well. That would be his birthday today, if memory serves That's me right. That's quite correct. And That's why. That we, everyone thinks about the late and great uh, Pat Small. And of course, he also rode your mum's nighttime to win the Guineas here yes, as well. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And that, that, was well, that was a special day as well. But this is today, and Chris Hayes must get all the plaudits today. Uh, excellent performance, but very happy with the filly. Where does this filly fit in, though? Because, that, like, you know, when, when, when your, your eye doesn't, doesn't lie, that was scintillating. Very good performance today with no more we we'll probably go to Royal Ascot for the coronation with our next, and that'll tell us even more. Enjoy the moment. Thank you. Appreciate it. As always. Well done, Dermot. Thank you, man.